Hi everyone, Serene from Rainy Rocks. I'm really excited about this video because I am using alcohol inks for the first time. So all the products that I'm using will be listed in the description box, but I'm just showing them you here quickly. I got some amazing glitter that I found, and of course ignition dust, and I have my pre-mixed resin and the um, uh, no, what's it called? Um, a blue from Daler Downey. And you'll see here that I have already prepared my um, dragonflies and I have glued on a, an acrylic diamond to the head and then sprinkled it with some glitter. And then I'm just placing them face down into my coaster molds. All right, so we're getting ready to do the pour. Okay, so now I'm going to add some ignition dust to the rest of my clear resin. And I'm just pouring a thin layer. to each of the coasters. Okay, so now for the exciting part. 
to make sure first I got to make sure that those um, uh, dragonflies are fully submerged in the resin. I'll pop the bubbles before I add the um, alcohol inks. No matter what you do with these, these uh, I find that these tend to float, but um, you can always do, if they do end up sticking up a little bit, you could always do a flood coat on top once the first layer has dried. All right, wish me luck. Here goes. At this point I was I have no experience with alcohol inks and I just watched a couple of videos on YouTube and I just decided to go for it And I'm using Pinata alcohol inks. I found a really good deal on a whole package set at uh, Michael's. So here I'm alternating between the um, purple and the teal, white. The white helps it, the color sink. And at this point I remember thinking, I really hope I don't get too much of the white showing through it on the other side. But, um, you know. You won't know until you try. And it's always fun trying something new.
and I just kept adding inks until I felt that there was enough going on and like I said this is my first time so I don't know I just literally winged it and hope for the best Now I'm just taking some remaining um, clear resin and just drizzling it because I also saw in another video that it does create some effects as well. So I thought I'd give that a try. Okay, so now I think we are done with these. We'll just have to wait and see how these turn out in the morning. Okay, so we're back. These have now dried overnight. And I gotta tell you guys, I was so excited. I am excited to see how these turned out. I honestly I'm kind of afraid that they may be flops but even if they are it's okay I've learned a few things about you know how to use um, alcohol inks so let's see let's see what these will look like um, I actually had a, a, a thought as I was trying to fall asleep last night that oh my god what happens if these don't if these don't cure properly because I had when I was watching some videos on YouTube I thought someone had said if you don't um, uh, if you put too much ink um, the resin wouldn't cure it properly but I don't have that problem they're still a bit soft but that's okay okay so let's let's do this let's do this I'm gonna have to put a top coat and that's fine, I expected it because I haven't filled the mold all the way to the top. I love that glitter. I'm in, totally in love with that glitter. And it came in a package of 24 glitters. I'll show you guys. I went to Walmart. Went to Michael's yesterday. Oops. And then I stopped off at Walmart and I found these guys. So it was like, it's called uh, Moxie Candy Shop and uh, Shaker and pour, pour Set and it has, you know, um, extra fine glitter and chunky glitter and tinsel glitter. So, totally in love with them. Here we go. Oh, wow, well, they're very pliable. I'm nervous. Please turn out good. Oh. <gasps> Okay, guys, look at that. The head kind of disappeared there, but that's okay. Like, we, I love these. These are so cool. Look at this, I'm so happy. Aren't they pretty? At least I think they're pretty. I'm definitely going to be using alcohol inks more. These are so pretty. I was actually worried that the um, uh, um, sorry, it's very early in the morning. Barely slept because I was so excited to come and demold these guys. But uh, um, I was worried that the uh, oh my god, I can't speak. <laughs> that this <laughs> For some reason, I'm forgetting the name of this right now. Um, would be completely covered, but it didn't, except for the head, just for a bit. But that's okay, because it's abstract. And I love the little dots from the, um, from the white. 
Wow. Okay. Let's go on with this one. Yeah, sorry, I'm having morning brain where I can't even remember names of things. I've only had two cups of coffee. I need another one to fully awake. Yes, I love coffee. These guys are very pliable still. Look at this one. Oh my god, I like am totally in love with these. These are absolutely gorgeous. Like, I don't know if you guys can actually like see and the glitter in there. Like, if you can see that, I don't know, but love, 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 love. This one looks like two out of four. Dragonflies. Holy moly, it took me that long to remember the name Dragonfly. Like, seriously. Yeah, this is just, this one, look at that. This one has a little bit more of the white showing. Maybe I got a little heavy handed with the white, but you know what, I I don't care. I These are great. Tell me what you guys think. I absolutely adore these. Last one. This one had, I think I poured a little more than the others. It's a little bit thicker. And the um, top of the dragonfly is covered. Except for this tiny little bit, but you know what? That's okay. And art's not meant to be perfect, right? That's why it's called art. It's not made from a machine. It's made by hand with love. Okay. Oh! Okay. This one is cool too. It's, I don't, it's got like the beer white blob there, which is, you know what? No, I don't care. I love these guys. These are just beautiful. My opinion. So here they are. I'm going to do this this way so you guys can you know, look it up and upside down. Actually, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm so excited. I just love how these turned out. And I'm really glad that I had uh, put um, that, uh, what do you call that? The uh, blue around the rim. I didn't really want it to be clear with the glitter. It just adds that extra oomph. But let me bring you guys down closer. Okay, so here they are. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see that glitter. Like, look how cool these turned out. I am so in love with these. Look at that one. Tell me what you guys think, because look at that. Look at how shiny they are. Love. Big hearts. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye now.